When I get asked what Coordinated does, a lot of people know us for, for our copiers and printers. And of course, that's still a main part of our business, copying, printing, scanning solutions, wide format solutions. Of course, there's an umbrella of products and services that have evolved from that. But at the heart and soul, we're still a copier company who sells imaging units, printers, scanners, and everything in the like. What products do we sell? What brands do we carry? The list of core products that we carry are Kyocera, Sharp, Lexmark, Epson, and KIPP is for wide format devices. We also have access to HP products and a number of others. Whether to purchase or lease, my rule of thumb is you buy something or purchase something when it, when it holds its value or appreciates, and you finance or lease something when it depreciates and does not hold its value. In our case, we're talking about depreciating assets, uh, they're, they're machines, uh, they're not gonna be worth more in 10 years, and so my rule of thumb here is I usually recommend people leasing unless it's, they're in a situation that works better for them to purchase. How does our service programs and plans work with, with copiers and printers? Now, whether you lease or whether you purchase, it's the same. We're gonna provide the service, parts, labor, toner, consumables for that printer. The way our service plans work is, of course, we wanna cover all the brake fix things, the, the, the toner, ink, consumables. Along with that, we wanna make sure we convey the message that when a piece of equipment, a copy or printer needs attention, you pick up the phone, you call us. We wanna exceed that expectation you have of what's gonna happen next. The communication piece, I think, is key because it really doesn't matter what the service plan is if you're not getting the engagement, attention, and response that you need to keep your business running. A common question I get is, do I have to wait until my lease is up to evaluate my technology, to make a change, to upgrade, to downgrade? And the short answer is absolutely not. 2020 was a, was a good example of people's leases not being up, but them needing to make a change. And we were able to leverage programs that were available, things that we were trying to do to help our customers. And a lot of those leases weren't up, but we were able to put companies and businesses in a better financial situation, or maybe just a better fit from what their technology needs changed to during 2020. So it was a great kind of magnifying glass on, on the question, which is, do you need to wait until your lease is up? Absolutely not. We get asked a lot, what is the benefit of a partnership, especially a partnership with coordinated business systems? And the answer is, you don't have to go it alone. And what I mean by that is, it's a rare thing when I find a business organization that has someone there whose full-time job is to keep up with the technology, products, services, manufacturers that we provide and be able to evaluate those things at any given time in a year. And so a true partnership is when you can, when you can work together on evaluating your business, uh, evaluating what products and services are available, what technologies are are new in the real world versus what's bleeding edge and maybe not working. And so when you partner with a company that that is their full-time job, that is what we do, you're able to leverage that relationship and get the best answers to some of the questions that you may not have the resources to answer.